hi, Amanda here again. If you haven't heard of me, my name is Amanda Pruer. I'm a YouTuber that reviews makeup. And I'm also a published writer. You can find my books in the description box. Oh, and if you're not new to my channel, thank you again for watching my video again. Um, how I achieved this look, the eyes won't match. But I did Morphe versus Morphe with the 35B palette. I just done all those episodes. I still love this palette though. You know, I did so many. Because at first I didn't realize this one had an original. So, um, I, I have like 18 episodes on this one pilot. But, anyway, why you were here? Why you clicked on this video? Key to Dragon. <clears throat> yes, I got the pilot. So happy it arrived today. Yes. Okay, how I achieved this look. I use Milk, the bar. And I know um, this does not have a good save range. This is from Dollar Tree. Um, to achieve this, you probably need uh, like a matte foundation. Very, like a dewy foundation because this is the dewy foundation. I use Wet n Wild. Cover all, um, yeah, setting powder. I call it a setting powder, so I, that's what I use it for. Um, I use Dollar Tree. The shade range ain't horrible in this one, um, but it still needs, they need to add their shade range. I use, this is a setting powder, and this is a bronzer. Uh, I probably put too much highlight on and I use the Oprah highlight which that has good shade range and I use on my cheeks as you see here and here um this little baby right here from Jeffree Star Frost brushes I use the um Sally brush and so you look at the what angle it is so you can get if you like this look and I use this finally I use this big thing here to cut down on my shine because I put way too much highlighter on and I use this so this is the brush I used and eh, I'll link it in my um I'll put it when I Download this video, I will put the name, because I don't know the name, top of my head of this brush. And I use the Morphe brush here. See what shape it is. Um, doesn't have a number, just one of the cheap brushes. Yeah, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on brushes. And then a flat brush here by Morphe. It was in their eye set in BoxyCharm, that's how I got it. And this is right by Dollar Tree's little skinny brush here. To get deep down in here. And this one I got from Family Dollar as a side. Any thick side would work for underneath here. Oh. And I use Wet n Wild um, pigment. It's like a pigment um, balm on my lips. And I use for mascara. Mascara LA Colors. You can get an adult tree. Um this side is done by this one. This side is done is done by this one. This has been reformulated, formulated, whatever. It's 
So they didn't just stick this one in here. They actually did some work and reformulated the palette. If you're wondering, if you don't want to see 18 episodes. First I did this one, a full review on each shade. And then I figured out they have original. So I had to buy the original for a resale website and compare them. So hopefully I don't have to touch this for a while. But it is pretty good. I'm trying to put this in there. But anyway, hope you like my Mayu necklace. Um, but anyway, let's get to why you're here. It came in this beautiful packaging. There. There. Okay. And I'm going to swatch all these colors for you and then I'm going to get into a very detailed analysis. It's going to take a few episodes though. Okay. There you go. These are very beautiful shades. And I already got. <laughs> okay. Okay. So hopefully I can swatch these properly. Yeah. Okay, we start with the first row here. The names are actually on the thing. I'm not going to say the names, but I'm going to type the name in. Names in when I go through my editing process, as I usually do. Okay. I don't like to over swatch these. Okay. It's weird to do this way, but okay. That blends in right into my skin tone, so you really can't see that one. Okay. Oh, my makeup's okay. This is probably going to blend into my skin tone, too. Damn it. I never get this right. Okay. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. I think I need to shave this arm and do this this way. Because this is a weird angle trying to get this in the camera. Okay, that's that shade. So weird. Okay. And that's that shade. There's so many. I'm not gonna have space for it. Hmm. Oh. That wasn't a good one. Well, the color is good, but my swatch is horrible. I'm kind of doing it just do it on my hand. I have no problems with my hand with the camera angle. So, okay, see this one. Okay. That reminds me of chocolate. Like chocolate. And I got a little bit on my hand for another shade. Okay. Some people do these off camera. And I see why. I think I'm going to go and shave my arm. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back again. Hopefully this works better. Yes, I did shave my arm. Art comes first. Okay, let's start over. Okay. 
start this way. As you can tell, that blends into my skin tone, like, seamlessly. So that would be good sounding powder, or to at least put it on in my eyes. I wonder how that works. Just, just wondering. I think some of these would be good bronzer shades, too. Okay. Okay. There you go. This is the third one. That's the third one. This is the fourth one. It's very chocolatey. Okay. This is the fifth one. This one. Make sure I get that off there. Because <laughs> it's going to affect the color. Okay. Okay. So you have pretty good mutual tones here. And they're soft. They're nice. Of course, they're on the dry side. Mostly Morphe stuff is on the dry side. Okay, that is black. Very black. Make sure it's not. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use this to my brush cleaner and get this off my finger. Okay. So what happens when you're working with pigment shades? They do stain. Okay. Let's go to the second row. This is the first one on the second row. Okay. Uh, second one. You understand why people say this ain't Kitty Dragon. There are tons of mutuals. I think she won the Maybe play it safe and just have it something in there for everyone. Honestly, because you have it all in this palette. Okay. Going on down. Okay. This is a red shade. Okay. I don't have too much space there, but oh well. This is kind of a gold color, I can believe. Kind of gold. It's very soft. Yeah, it's gold. It's very soft. Okay. And I dragged that red with it, as you can tell. Okay. So gold is brown. Very soft. I think I'm going to really enjoy this palette. If it forms well in the eye, I'm going to really enjoy it. Okay. And that is the end of the second row. Okay, starting on the third row. My arm doesn't give out. Okay. Ooh, this seems like a good highlight color. Okay. It's white. Ooh, this seems like a very good highlight color. Oh, yes, baby. That is a terrific highlight color. You can see I put way too much highlight on. <gasps> I'm glowing. I could probably glow in the dark. Okay. Let's go to the silver. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, yes. That would work as a highlight too. Like a silver highlight. Maybe like upper eye. Just bring it more. Wow. Oh. Okay. Then just blue, baby blue shade. I really starting to like this palette. Really. It has everything. Okay. Okay. 
I'm new to Morphe, but I am quickly coming a fan. Definitely. I don't want to dig into this shade. It looks so pretty. So you can see I'm digging into it lightly. Okay. Okay. It's still there. Cool. <laughs> okay. That that shade is definitely a dragon. You cannot say it's not. That would be a good highlight too. Like a purple highlight. I know I probably couldn't pay it off. Um, pull it off because I don't have dark skin. As you can see, I'm very white. But I think it will look very good on dark skins. Okay, I'll go to this one. These are very fine. I don't think they're pressed glitters. I think this one's a pressed glitter. But these are very fine. They're very nice. Okay. Ooh. Nice glitter. Nice. Seems like you got bronzer shades, maybe styling powder shade, and of course highlights and glitters. That's very cool. I'm loving it. Ba ba da ba, loving it. Okay. And you see, I have no room left, so I'm gonna pause the video and wipe it off. Okay, let's get to it. Starting here, the end of the second row. It's a navy blue. Cool. Kind of matches my eyes a little bit. Okay. Make sure it's washed that good. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so that's that color. Okay. Okay, let's go to this dark shade. Um, I don't know. Is that purple? What is that color? It's like a purplish black. It's like brown. It's a brown with purple glitter and blue. That is very neat. Can't wait to do a lie look on that one. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of the third row. Let's go to this one. It's kind of a bronzer kind of flavor. Okay. Okay. Get that one. I probably should swatch that one again, but I don't want to over swatch. Okay. So you really don't know until it forms in the eye. Okay. This may be a good highlight again. Oh, yes. Yes. Very good highlight. I think she had multiple pur purpose for this pilot. Obviously. That is very pretty. We went to this light pink. It's baby pink. Okay. Okay. You can barely see it on me. Um, because I have very light skin. Okay. Let's go to this hot pink. You probably definitely see this on me. Okay. Yes, definitely see it on me. Yes. Hot pink. Okay, this is purplish pink, which I know many of you are gonna love if you don't already have this pilot. Okay. Ooh, I love that. I love it. Okay. Okay, let's move on to this purple shade that is my favorite type of purple. Okay. Love this. My favorite color is purple. So I'm definitely going to get a lot of, this pilot is definitely going to be used quite a bit. It has like purple glitter highlights. Okay, it's dark purple. If you love purple, you're going to love this pilot if you don't already have it. Okay, 
that row is done. So it's gonna move on to another row. Oh, another one. I didn't see this in the, um, I didn't notice that. I just noticed this one in the picture, not this one. This has a print too. It's a black and purple print. Okay, it's not ruin it too much. Oh, I'm gonna feel guilty about using this. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That is. Is it gray? Okay, let's watch it again. It's like a very light, light black with shimmer in it. I don't know. It's like a purplish black. It's very light. Okay. Okay, move on to this color. Fudgy one. Another fudgy one. Okay. Okay. Um, we want to this bright green shade. Am I not able, able to put this with anything? It's bright green shade. I don't know. I guess I'll have fun trying. She kind of just popped in there. It's bright green shade. It's like a glowing dark shade. I like putting um shade colors with shade colors, as you can tell. I have a sh blue shimmer, blue here, blue there, and different blue underneath my eyes. I like to match blues, greens together. Maybe I can ma match this with something. I don't know what in this pile I can match this with. Um, but I do have other greens in different pilots, so I think this is a green, but I'm not sure this will match well with that one. It's because it's the same, like, same, not the same color, but it's because it's green. It doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't mean it's going to match. Um, without matching. That makes sense at all. Okay. Okay. We went to this one, second to last shade. Very smooth, very nice. I think it's a green shade too. This is a very odd shade. Another, um, it's kind of, it's kind of brown. It's a like green and flex in it. I don't know. It's brown with flex. So she definitely like her, um, likes her glitter, shimmer, and reflecting <laughs> okay let's move into this one the, i think this is a pressed glitter yes it is that looks gorgeous but that's gonna be awesome okay Ooh, look at it here i can't resist i'm gonna have to put a little bit on somewhere Where's doing it? Can I put it? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. I don't know, I got a little bit more on there. It's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. So I hope you liked my video. I hope you liked it. So. I am very excited to get into this. To see how they really form on the eye. See you in the next episode. Many loves. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my dedication and my video. Thank you.